What's up guys? Chris, CJE, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to make a quick video about the differences between custom strings and cables versus the stock strings and cables that are coming with your bow. And I first want to say this is not a bash on any brand. Um, you know, if you're a target shooter or if you're just really into archery, um, most guys will order their bow and put custom strings on it before they even take it from the pro shop. All right, I didn't have this option with this bow, and um, you know, it's something that I wanted to make this video for um, you know, more of the beginners or guys that are getting into archery or even target archery, but they may not, uh, you know, know certain things or, or know. Um, uh, what the biggest difference is between custom strings and uh, um, you know your factory strings. So that being said, I purchased this bow a month ago, and it uh, uh, was something where I, I had um, plans to go to several different shoots, and I needed to you know just basically get it tuned up, get it sighted in, and start shooting it. And the first shot uh, shoot that I shot the bow with, uh, it, it actually shot great. Um, I was very pleased with it, even for having factory strings on. I thought, hey, this isn't bad. So I went ahead and uh, uh, shot it again on my uh, practice night, and I found that it was out of time. So I took it back to the shop, um, got it retimed, um, shot it, tuned up, seemed to be okay. Went to another shoot with it, and all of a sudden things were just flying everywhere, not uh, um, working out the way that you know. <laughs> When, you know that you know if you're a target shooter, you know you're thinking, what's going on? Um, so I look at the bow. The bow is way out of time. I mean, I'm talking like that far from each, you know, from the top cam to the bottom cam. So I'm thinking, okay, took it back to the shop, retimed it again, and uh, I could not get the bow to tune no matter what I did after that. <clears throat> so I shot it, wasn't happy with it, and when I'm talking, you know arrows are not going where they're going you know it targets you know I'm talking like you know a difference of this you know it's not it's way over here way over there but enough to know that there's something wrong and I went ahead and ordered a set of custom strings from 60x strings shameless plug if you guys are looking for strings you definitely need to give 60x a try uh, those strings in my opinion are the most consistent um, their quality is amazing and the, the best thing is I'm going to Syracuse in a week um, to shoot the ASA uh, Can-Am up there. And I, I said, Todd, I don't know what I'm going to do. Is there any way you can get you know a set of strings out to me? They did not have a set uh, made up for this bow. So they had to make the strings and, and get them out to me. I ordered them. I talked to them Friday. They were at my doorstep on Wednesday. You can't ask for anything better than that. They had to make them and then get them out to me and, and that kind of turnaround. I just thought that was absolutely amazing. So 60X custom strings, I'm gonna swear by them. I think they're amazing strings. Moving forward, if you look, the bus cable um, for one cam, as you can see, it's separated in two, the serving separated in two areas. Um, I'm not sure exactly how or why that happened. Second bus cable is separated in one area as you can see. And there was even some serving separating from below uh, the speed knock um, coming down from the top cam. Now mind you again, this bow is only not even a month old. It's three weeks and I had to put the strings on it because um, that shoots in a week. Um, I, As a target shooter, you always, like I said, you're gonna put custom strings on the bow because they always work better. Um, they're a lot more consistent, they tune up better. Um, I know that, but knowing the shoots that I had coming up, I wanted to just basically get the bow shoot, shooting the way I like it. And then once you know things settled down and um, I could uh, take some time, get the, and, you know, and do it right, you know, th that's what my goal was. But I didn't even get three weeks out of these strings. And, you know, and it was other things that, you know, the peep rotation on them were, were just ridiculous. They never did train. Um, as you can see, I use a, a peep and tom peep sight because I have to put a clarifier and a verifier uh, due to my eyesight in there. And it, no matter what I did, it was always off one way or the other. And, and it was never the same twice. And that, that by itself was very bothersome. And that's a big thing with custom strings is you will not get that. 
I don't even have 40 shots into these new strings and that peep doesn't move at all. It stays in the exact spot it needs to stay in and I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, you know, you can tell the serving on the strings are much, much better quality. Uh, they're tighter. They're not separating around the cam pegs like they, like they did on these um, factory strings. Um, if you're going to be serious about shooting tournament or, you know, even if you just want a better quality string on your bow, I definitely recommend doing the custom strings. Um, it's, it's not something where, you know, the factory strings won't get you, well, I mean, at least in this case, I, I, you know, with the way that they separate like this after three weeks, you know, even if this was just a hunting bow or, or something that, uh, you know, you were just going to tool around with, I still wouldn't be happy about it. I mean, for them to do that, that's terrible. Now, I mean, I've got the, I, I still got the factory strings on, on my hunting bow, my realm, and they're fine. You know, uh, these are about a year old and there's no separation on any of them. So I don't know if I just got a bad set. Um, I have heard stories of this happening to other guys with factory strings. So again, I don't know. There's some manufacturers out there that put great strings on their bows from the factory. I'm not saying that it's um, every factor or every uh, uh, manufacturer, but um, you know, keep it in mind the next time you purchase a bow um, and, and look it over. And if you're one of those guys where you're just starting out and you know, you shoot your bow and, you know, you have a great night and then all of a sudden something doesn't feel right or, or arrows are going where you're not pointing. Look at your strings if they're factory strings. You know, it might save you a lot of headache. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe. Find me on Facebook and um, we'll see you next time. Get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks. Take care.